Hi guys, welcome to my coffee show. My name is Jack and today I want to talk just quickly about my new brewer. As I mentioned before, my New Year's resolution for 2023 is to discover, pour over all the different methods I can. This time is the brewer from uh, Japan. The name Simplify uh, by Bath Tube Coffee. And it is exactly what it says on the box. So this uh, brewer, as you can see, it is it's basically a piece of plastic. In hence, it feels very thin. I wouldn't throw it necessarily into my bag when I travel because I would be afraid to break it. And you may say, Jack, it's, this is probably the cheapest uh, brewer that you could get. But in fact, this is the most expensive brewer I got so far. 42 euros. Not only that, this is not available or at least I don't know where to get it in the UK. So I had to get it from Belgium. So I had to pay a shipping cost and some taxes as well. This, this is precious. <laughs> So today I will just quickly show you how I brew with it. I found a very nice simple recipe. Uh, I tried this brewer for a week or so. Once more we will use this duck uh, coffee roasters from Amsterdam. Very very good, very fruity coffee. It, this coffee went through double anaerobic process. So first they mature it anaerobically the beans for uh, 100 hours. Then they take the outer layer. So that's the honey process. And then they mature it once more for 70 hours. Then they add like acid and some bacteria into the mix and this gives us that unusual flavor notes. We should taste lychee, passion fruit, lemongrass and lime. And I have to say that this is one of my favorite coffees. For that Simplify Brewer, the Kalita 185 uh, filters, they, they work really well. Simple recipe but it works really well with this coffee. 15 grams of coffee, 250 grams of water, water temperature 98 degrees. First the blooming phase 50 grams of water, we wait 30 seconds then another 50 grams of water we wait till it runs through then I pour the remaining 150 grams of water and we taste it as you can see this there is a huge hole at the bottom so this brewer is relatively fast that allows me to grind fine uh, I will use DF83 and I'm on a setting number 30 so that's very low <laughs> uh, the coffee bed will be slightly muddy but I promise you the coffee will be great now that's enough me talking I I want coffee, you want to see the results. Let's do it. Blooming face. Now another 50. Agitate a little bit. It took about 3 minutes and 45 seconds. Coffee bed, slightly muddy as I said, but the coffee I'm sure will be tasty. So, the cup is ready. The smell, sweet, kind of a stone fruit, cherry, something else. What I can also sometimes smell uh, with this coffee is the kind of eucalyptus. Cheers. So fruity, nice sourness. You have to wait a little bit, but then in the background, there is a whole another story of all those sweet, fruity flavors. So again, I can taste cherries, sweetness, lots of sweetness. Not really sure how lychee should taste like lots of things going on. I made that coffee to my wife yesterday and she couldn't believe this is a coffee. She said this is this tastes more like a, like a fruity tea or something else. I've tried this coffee uh, for espresso and it wasn't very good, but for the pour over it's one of the better coffees. Obviously you can messed it up. I, a few times it happens when I didn't follow the good recipe. I have to say that I like this brewer. I like the way it operates. I like that I can grind finer. Um, that allows me to develop some, some nuances in the coffee while still not clogging the filter. I like all of that. The one thing that I don't like is the price. Is it worth 42 euros? I don't think so. You can disagree with me and please do in your comments. But this is just a piece of plastic. I mean, with the hole at the bottom for 42 euros. But, but, but if you are a coffee hobbyist, you may consider that because the end result is very good. Is it better than Aurea? Well, that's the question for another day. We will do a video about that. Now, guys, if you are still here, definitely click like, consider subscribing to the channel. Plenty more things coming. There will be new grinders to the channel. So definitely the flat marks 
it's coming in May. Maybe I will manage to get Taimo on the Kickstarter, the Electric Grinder, who knows. Maybe DF64, lots of things, so definitely worth uh, subscribing. At some point I will also start roasting my own coffee. If you had a chance to use that Simplify Brewer, maybe you know even better recipe. Please share your experience, uh, your recipe with us. But for today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jack, this is my coffee show, this is my Simplify Brewer, and hopefully I will see you soon. Thank you, bye! So juicy.